All right, this is kind of a different video and there's an email list below for you guys to get on who may be interested in this program. You may not be interested. I don't know. We will find out tomorrow when I check and see how many people have signed up. All right, so that's all I got. Go below and I will talk to you guys in this video and this pretty much how to start a business based upon marketplace data versus what you feel may be a good business idea. What's going on? So like this, this week, we'll be changing this channel and today's message may resonate with you. I woke up with this idea, like kind of explain to you what I've been doing. Like I've been running ads to sell the art of holding business credit program, right? And at one point I was doing phone calls. Not a lot of people were signed up for the phone calls. And then we came up with this newer thing, which was getting a lot of responses but all the responses came from people with bad credit. Or, you know, they, their credit was like seven. They were like literally in that, you know, that thing. And I was just like, okay, what have I learned this last month? There's a ton of people out there with bad credit. So one of the things I did is I started researching credit repair and all this other stuff. And there, there's a ton of people in credit repair literally a ton of people doing credit repair and came up with this idea. So let me know if I'm wrong, but what about someone teaches you how to make money while also fixing your credit? Because that's something I can do because, you know, years and years ago I had bad credit and it took me nine months of working because I would go to work and I would come home and I work on my credit. And one of the big issues that I think a lot of people run into in trying to fix their own credit is the lack of consistency. That's the thing that kills them because fixing credit is not rocket science. And also what I feel, and I may be wrong, I feel that in seven to 10 years, it's going to be virtually impossible to fix your credit. You can fix your credit now, but in seven, 10 years in the future, why technology? I think it's just going to become virtually impossible. So if you've got bad credit and you want to fix your credit now, the time to start working on that is now in doing these things. But more importantly, starting a business and creating more income. That is what I see as being the best path out because you have more money, you can do more things. And this is just something that just popped in my head this morning. It's like, man, there, there's a gang of people out there with bad credit. There's a ton of people out there looking to utilize the CPN and all this other stuff. And I'm just sitting there like, cause you know, one of the things I've been doing is been looking at people who repair credit and running offers and stuff. And also another thing, and I, I found this gentleman who, 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 who had some really good points because there's like tiers of people with bad credit. There are people who like, let's say you have a nurse. She has a good job, she has good income, she has bad credit. This is someone that can pay for elite credit repair. But let's say you got someone like this gentleman I ran into. Um, he's 48 years old, has bad credit, doesn't have no job. He doesn't wanna really spend any money to fix his credit at the moment. And that right there would be what I would call a bad lead. Here's someone who has a problem, but they don't have no money. They have no money. They have no money. And that that's one of the things, cause like literally with the program that we're working on, like literally just launched the ads like a week ago and the new ads are, aren't ready is I was getting a lot of people, a lot of people into the funnel, but they were not qualified for the program. Cause like, once again, let me just go ahead and tell you, if you want to get business credit, massive business credit, you're going to need a credit score of 700 and you're going to need a job. And the number of people who feel that they can somehow finesse the system and get like, you know, a hundred thousand dollars of bad business credit with bad personal credit and no income. I understand where that comes from. It comes from the internet. Literally the internet has you thinking that you can go ahead and get all of this credit with bad personal credit, no income, and it's just snap your fingers and make it happen. 
So I know where these people are getting the messaging. They're not getting that messaging from me, but I know where the messaging is coming from. And now the new ads are going to make it very clear what your credit score needs to be and everything. But more on this whole thing with bad credit. Um, there's a lot of people with bad credit. Now, I might be wrong. So hear me out. But I feel that a lot of people who watch this channel have bad credit. And let me go ahead and say, if you're a person with income, I can help you fix your bad credit. Now, income, do you have to be making $50,000 a year? No, but you will need to be able to pay a monthly fee or all at once and we can fix your credit. And that right there is a big, big problem because um, there's, there's literally a ton of credit repair videos on YouTube. There's a ton of them. And I've noticed that a lot of the people who do the credit repair videos put out do-it-yourself credit repair guidelines and stuff, and they don't actually fix credit. And one of the things is for you to fix credit, you've got to have a system. Because number one, you bring someone in, then you have to have a protocol where to put their credit report then you need to have a place where they can log in and see their credit report. Then you need to have them doing credit monitoring. And all of this takes a little money. Credit monitoring, I think, is gonna be 29, 30 bucks a month. Then there's the cost of fixing your credit. And this is why, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, let me know. I feel that if you also are teaching, you know, because essentially, right now, this is just a concept in my, my mind. Um, this is just a concept. And we were run this out of Florida, but literally put together this program. Number one, the people that go in the program must be qualified. If you're a person with no money, you have no extra money, this program won't be for you. But literally get on the phone, have them sign up for, you know, I see this one thing that constantly everyone uses. It must be good look at their credit reports, have a conversation with them, and then actually put them on the guideline of how to improve their money situation, which is the money management course. The money management course, then also put them in the art of holding, teaching them how to set up an LLC, teaching them how to set up their EIN, teaching them how to set up their corporation, and then giving them business training lessons. Now, this is just me. Once again, this is just an ideal in my head. It's just running around. So one of the things, but I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea because number one, I personally know from market research, there's a lot of people out with bad credit and there's layers to the people with bad credit. That first layer where you just got bad credit and no income. I can't help you. I cannot help you. And also, the second thing is literally putting people on a position where they can make a lot more money. Because here's the thing. I want you to think, once again, tell me if I'm wrong. We fix your credit, we teach you how to manage your money, and we teach you how to start a business. And then we prepare you to get business credit in the future. Because that's the, the program that I'm thinking about putting together and it just sounds like a winning ideal. It just sounds like a winning ideal. Also, what I'm gonna have to do, because this is gonna be a business, I'm gonna have to hire someone because, you know, in the beginning, I could do the work myself. But as we start to scale, I'm gonna literally have to hire someone and to train them how to do this and actually sit with them while they do this process. Um, a big part of this is scaling up because literally go ahead and create a situation hire people to do certain things because in the beginning you know i can handle probably 30 50 people myself that that because essentially i've like i said i've been doing research like there, there's something there, there's ways to automate this to a degree and there's ways to do it but the first thing is you must look at their credit report. You gotta see what their credit report to see what you're working with. And you know, back in the day when I, I actually found 20 people and worked on their credit, uh, I was able to fix 18 out of the 20s people's credit. So I have a pretty good track record with this. But typically, 
This is the marketplace telling me there's a need. You know, when you want to start a business, there's this ideal that you have of starting your business, but this is something that I know from personal marketplace research, there's a huge need for substantial credit repair. And then once again, once you fix their credit, and this is, once again, let me know, let me know. Once you fix their credit, I think this person is gonna to listen to you for other things like, okay, well, this is how you set up your LLC. This is how you get your AI in. And then, you know, we can have webinars on what kind of businesses to get into. I just, just once again, tell me I'm wrong, but I just think it's a killer ideal at the moment. I think it's just a killer ideal. And, um, you know, I'm pretty much like 90% on going forward with it because one of the things I see, and I see a lot of wrong information, like with Truist Bank, you can go to YouTube and put Truist Bank in and you'll see Truist Bank will give you a $50,000 line of credit. Actually, Truist Bank will not give you a $50,000 line of credit unless you have two years in business and you show your tax returns. And also the way that Truist does it is like if you are in the position to get $100,000 worth of credit from Truist and you have a $25,000 credit card, the most that they're gonna give you on the line of credit is 75,000 because you've qualified for 100K and they're gonna count that credit card credit lending too. So there, there, there's a lot of stuff that is happening out here, but I see a lot. And also, once again, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm just sitting there. Um, I think the people who are coming to YouTube University are the people who don't have any money. Now, I could be wrong. I could be 100% wrong. But typically, let's go back with my case scenario. This nurse, she's a nurse. She makes about 50000 a year. She's got income. She works. And honestly, because she works 12-hour shifts, she doesn't want to spend a lot of time trying to fix her credit. She knows that her credit's bad. She knows that she's paying more for stuff than she should be. She knows this, but because she's a busy professional, she just doesn't have the time. That is my ideal client. Because once again, um, when I had people coming through the funnel and I was like, you know, and instantly once they told me what their credit score was, I knew that they, they weren't qualified for the program. And then I was like, hey, are you interested in credit repair? And they were interested in credit repair, but the big issue was the money. And this is just crazy to me. Correct me if I'm wrong. Why are the brokest people trying to get money? They're, I think these folks are operating on hope. I think they're, because they're not stupid. They're not dumb. And they're thinking there's some way out there that you can have a bad credit score, no income, and someone's going to give you some money. It's not happening. It's just not happening unless you're doing something illegal. So, I already know that even though there's a lot of people who need their credit repaired, I also know there's a lot of people who are in that position due to bad money management, project, uh, bad money management, uh, bad money. They don't make enough money. So I already know that I start this. There are a lot of people I will talk to who will not be qualified. I already know this. They just won't be because they don't have the money. They have the need, but they don't have the money. And that, that's one of the keys. But I do know that there's a lot of people like this nurse who literally has a situation where they um, need their credit fixed. And this one guy I was watching, he took payments via Cash App. And I had to really, really think about that. I was like, why are you taking payments via Cash App? And it hit me. These people are financially illiterate. There are people out here who have jobs who, because I think you can take direct deposit on Cash App. I think you can. Who have jobs, who make 50, 70, 50 to $75,000 a year. They don't have a checking account and they don't have any credit cards. And that will be someone that I can tune up because literally one of the things I've consistently seen is that most people are not financially literate. Just the majority are not financially literate. They're just not. And there are people out here who are making 50, 60, 75, $80,000 a year who don't have a checking account. I know that sounds crazy to you and the 10% who like have checking accounts and credit cards. I'm telling you, these people are out there. These people um, exist. And once again, 
as I you know, go through this in my mind, I'm thinking of who's my ideal customer is going to be, who can I get in that will be um, a good fit for the program, who can be a client that I can help and like literally, you know, there are people right now, there's someone out there, I already know this, between their husband and wife, they make $120,000, $150,000 a year. They have bad credit and they have money set aside and that bad credit is the only thing keeping them from buying a house. They can find a house even in today, but they just can't get it because their credit's not good enough. So I already know that there are a bunch of people in the marketplace who need help, who need help. And it's just interesting. And this is me looking at the marketplace because a lot of us, we want to start businesses, right? But instead of doing scientific marketplace research, because like I already know from a very firm position that these people out there I already know this. I know this. I've already done the marketplace research. I've run ads and I've got these people responding to my ads. So I know that they're out there. And it's just a matter of, once again, and this is something else too. The people who are do credit repair on YouTube and talk about YouTube, they're getting their traffic from organic traffic. And in that organic traffic, there may be some people who would pay. But the YouTube thing, what I've seen is typically YouTube has changed. And this is why, well, I think it's called a YouTube university for the longest, but I remember, let's say 2020 is when it really shifted. Cause now you like, literally I will see someone who has created a way to make money and they've been doing it for a few months. Then they're running YouTube channel. Then they're running ads and they got like, you can talk to me and I could bring you into the program. That wasn't a thing in YouTube in 2020. You know, typically a person like with me in the storage auction book, I was in the storage auction business for many, many years. And I was able to come up with a comprehensive guide to get people into the storage auction business. And I'm going to say something that a lot of people are not going to want to hear, but I feel if you've only been in the business for a few months, I don't think you're qualified to teach it. Just my opinion, um, because there's a lot of things that will happen. And after about three years in the storage auction business, I pretty much knew what can happen, what to expect. And I think at that point, if I wanted to create a guide, I could have. But the first year, no, I couldn't have created a guide because there was things that were going to still come and happen. But literally, YouTube right now is slammed full of people, especially in the finance, finance space, because the finance space pays the highest CPM literally everywhere. And I'm seeing people who started channels and their videos. I'm like, this is something I've never really seen before. I'm seeing people who've had YouTube channels for months and they put up a video and they get two to 12 views. I've never seen that before. And I'm starting to see that now. But these people are in the finance space. They're not in the entertainment space. If you were someone who was talking about Diddy's recent apology on Instagram, you'd be getting views. You would be getting views because people are crazy about that stuff. But financial educational stuff, that's hard to get a view. And I'm gonna explain to you why I feel that it's hard to get views for that. It's the people don't wanna go through the work. They don't wanna do the things that they need to do to actually get this thing started. They don't really want to do the work, which is kind of like starting a business and keeping your job. I don't recommend that you quit your job to start your business unless you've just got, you know, if you're a, a wife or a husband and you got a wife or a husband that's working and they make enough money to cover all the bills, that's different. But if it's just you and quitting your job with no plan and no money set aside, mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But yeah, that's something I'm thinking about doing. Like I said, my mind is like 90% there. I got to get it set up. And the thing is, I already have the business training, most of that already done. So that would be easy. And I can bring someone on and then get them set up because like literally once I get people on, I can just go ahead and sign up and get the software and stuff I need to do this. And one of the things that I'm finding is there is so much 
in the credit repair space. There's how to get business credit, the legit way to get business credit. And once again, you know, I, I got a comment. I'm not even gonna talk about that. I'm not even gonna talk about that. Um, once again, there are so many ways to do things with, you know, getting your credit fixed, um, building stuff, doing certain things, situating yourself. There's so many ways to do it. And one of the things that you have to understand is this is the marketplace. I'm listening to the marketplace, you know, um, with the car rental business, there was a marketplace for it, but once again, customer behavior. Um, so this is something that you can pretty much control customer behavior because there's only so much they can do that. It's not like they're taking your expertise and going out on the street and joyriding. Uh, but typically this is me listening to the marketplace and the marketplace has been telling me there, there's just so much room in here. And then once again, I've been doing research and there's a number of people on YouTube who speak about credit, how to get credit cards, but they don't do credit repair. And I kind of know why, because typically when you start doing credit repair, someone's paying you money, you got to keep up with them. You have to be accountable. You have to update them. And that right there can be a lot of work if you don't have it set up correctly, if you don't have it set up and organized the correct way. So that's one of the issues that you can have. So one of the things that you have to think about is getting people into your system and getting people through the process. But also, I think this is going to be fun. I don't know. I think it's going to be fun because like literally, once again, in the ideal phase, it's like, you know, we could do webinars, like how should you choose your first business model? And like, like once again, this is coming from marketplace research. I already know there's a bunch of people out there with bad credit. I already know this. And back in the years, I, I had a do-it-yourself credit thing in the Hustler Camp thing. And I had a few people sign up for it. But once again, the big issue with credit repair is you need someone to be on it and to do certain things and to actually have you in a position where you can win. So this is a business concept that is coming from the marketplace. The marketplace is like, hey, this is one of the things because um, the big issue is gonna be getting qualified clients because there's a ton of people out there who have bad credit, who have no money. And essentially, if you were just gonna do something free, yeah, those people would fall into it, but typically you must have a lot of money set aside just to do that, to go out and help all these people with bad credit because there's a cost. There's a cost to mailing stuff. There's a cost to keeping up with stuff. So, but the marketplace has told me, and once again, this is the ideal, and I don't even know how I'm gonna word it, but we will fix your credit and we'll teach you how to start a business at the same time. We'll teach you how to set up your LLC. We'll teach, you know, it's, it's gonna be all of this immersed together. And, you know, this is one of the things that we can do because part of it is now this is this is this is this is this is, this is something I got to be real careful with. We will teach you how to start a business, but we will fix your credit and immediately there's going to have to be a stipulation. You must have money to invest in this, because if I was like, hey, I'm going to fix your credit for free and teach you how to start a business, I would get run over without that stipulation. You must need and you know, let's just say you're going to need um, $1,500 to $3,000. You can pay all at once or you can pay over time. That's what you're going to need to get into this program. Because if I just like, hey, we'll fix your credit for free. I would literally wake up to 100 messages. If I put that ad out, I would literally wake up to 100 messages and I would get people who have the, you know, and th this is something else too. A lot of people don't really know what's on their credit report. They know they have bad credit, but they don't really know what's on their credit report because they don't look at it because it's hard to look at. It's hard to deal with. So this, this is one of the issues. This is one of the things that's going on. But once again, yeah, this is the thing that I'm going to put together and I'm going to put a link, you know, a link below for you. If you want to go through this program 
of learning how to start a business and having your credit fixed to put you in the position to get a car, to get credit cards, to get a house. I'm gonna put a link and you can get on this email link and when I get it ready, I'll email you and everyone else on it. Because uh, I got to sit down and I got to really, really think about this um, program. And it's gonna be a relatively new program because you know I've taught people how to start businesses and how to create LLCs and how to create holding companies. That's gonna be easy. But I've never fixed people's credit at a wholesale level. And you know, what I feel is going to happen is I'm going to be hiring someone after the first month. I'm going to have a position where I'm going to hire someone after the first month to do certain things in this business. That's just how I'm seeing it. I could be wrong. Maybe not. I don't know, but that's how I'm seeing it. So if you want to be part of this, go below, check out the link and sign up for the email list and let me know your thoughts because this should be interesting. And I may change the name of this channel today. Don't know. Don't know. It may happen. All right. That's all I got. I will talk to you guys in the next one. All right. This is kind of a different video. And there's an email list below for you guys to get on who may be interested in this program. You may not be interested. I don't know. We will find out tomorrow when I check and see how many people have signed up. All right, so that's all I got. Go below and I will talk to you guys in this video and this pretty much how to start a business based upon marketplace data versus what you feel may be a good business ideal.